What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you've all had a fantastic uh, start to your 2023. Been a bit of a rocky one, not going to lie. But yeah, we're back at it again with a little bit more of Taurus Bus. Now, it has been a little while since I've played this game. It has been a little while and there are, of course, obvious reasons for that. Um, but yeah, on a more positive note, I'm going to just jump in, we're just going to do a few little routes, um, hopefully touch basis on a few things. Um, there's a, like I said, because it's been such a while since I've actually played the game, um, I just generally like want to hear your, your guys' thoughts on it really, because even though we've got um, you know uh, the likes of Fern Bus come in and stuff like that, um, I just I don't know what's really going on behind the scenes, you know what I mean? And it would be fantastic if if they was to uh, you know uh, glorify this game the way that they are phone bus at the moment. Do you know just to kind of give us a little bit of an insight as to what's actually going on? Um, because it has been a little while, hasn't it? But we've selected a route anyway. Got the old steering wheel up. Sadly, you know, I I have really, really missed playing this game. I have, and it is such a shame that um, things have been dealt with the way that they have. Um, but yeah, let's let's just jump in and see what we can do, eh? But I've got a little little route now. Um, I think it's about 25 passengers actually. So fingers crossed. move on up but like I say guys I hope you're all doing fantastically well it's been it's been a little while it has been a little while you know and I mean for 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 tourist bus the way it is in the way that like we said things have been left um, it's definitely affected the player base on a massive level um, because of course there are a few things which still haven't quite been uh, addressed yet I mean, it's not going to be uh, a stream about, you know, talking about everything that's wrong with the game. I'm just going to sit back and in, enjoy it for what it really is. Because at the end of the day, this game isn't a bad one. And it's not the game's fault. It's just the way that, you know, things are being uh, be, being handled behind the scenes. You know, but other than that, I'm going to jump on, do a few little routes. And uh, kind of take it from there, really. It's so weird being back, you know, playing all these different simulation games and stuff like that, you know, it's definitely, uh, you know, it's definitely taking its toll, that's for sure. Up the hill. But yeah, I mean, like they said, this game is supposed to receive an update. Um, now, I can't remember whether they said it was before or after, um the release of phone bus um, so I mean we could be you know could it could be sort of late January late February I would imagine you know for uh, you know for, for an update I'm very curious to see as to what the, that update actually entails now I know we're supposed to have Unreal Engine 5 and I know that there are a few issues which are gonna be addressed um, but I mean, other than that, I don't really know. Um, it would be really, really nice if they was to implement some more content. You know, I know that we've been saying that for a little while, but I mean, you know, I think it's something that they really need to kind of focus on because even though, even though if they get the game sorted, you know, they get it fixed, they get it looking pretty, there is still that element, you know, of things becoming stale for the for the for the player. Now of course with Fern Bus coming, um, the the likelihood of it is is that you know Fern Bus for console is absolutely gonna overshadow this. Um, so that was my main concern more than anything, you know, was was actually thinking that, you know, um, because of Fern Bus coming out that the, the love and attention would slowly sort of fizzle away from from tourist bus and I really really don't want that to happen that is something that uh, 
they really can't afford to do. You know, but I mean, all in all, you know, it's not it's not too bad. I mean, I'm not too sure what the state of it is for for console at the moment. You know, because I haven't played it on console for a little while. But I mean, there are various different reports and you know, bug reports and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know. Hopefully, in the next couple of months, we should see this game sort of be what it's supposed to be in the beginning. Yeah, it's taken a little while, but you know, it's one of those things, isn't it? It's one of those things. I tell you what, these roads are looking pretty empty. I'm not too sure whether it's because it's night time or what, but we'll have a check in a minute, see if we can increase the traffic density a bit. But I have to say, it definitely feels nice being back playing Taurus Bus. It's been a little while, like I said, since I last uh, spoke about this game. I mean, we've had a lot of information, we've had a lot of things uh, being said uh, since then. But, you know, we can only hope, only hope that things start to uh, take a turn for the better. Because, like I say, this is this is this is where it gets a bit complex for me because I I absolutely love the game. In fact, you know, for for busing simulation, uh, it doesn't do a bad job. You know, it's quite a fun game to play in small bursts. I find, um, but other than that, I mean, I feel that you know because of the way that the game has kind of been neglected. You know, the lack of updates and things like that. It 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 definitely sort of turns your opinions and your you know the way that you feel about playing the game in the complete opposite direction you know but for this year it's going to be a little bit more positive like i say if firm bus and uh tourist bus don't kind of live up to the expectation um then i think it's going to be very very hard for people to somewhat cover um you know cover this game in general i mean especially for me yeah, because where we're so sort of hyped up and you know we're anticipating it with all the ideas and everything I still think that you know in the, in the back of my mind that this game uh, probably won't probably won't sort of hit the mark I think it'll be somewhat close but I don't think it's actually going to uh, revolutionise this game in terms of you know just upgrading the graphics and you know, I mean, general performance needs needs to be improved upon. So if they do that, then that's fantastic. But you know, once that's kind of done and out of the way, um, it kind of comes down to one thing and one thing only: like, what sort of direction are they going to take in terms of content for its future? You know, because I don't think they can't expect people to be happy with what's available. You know, at some point. We are going to need sort of like a, an injection of, of you know, content, whether it be buses or whether it be a new style of route or something like that, you know, just to keep it fresh. You know, I think that would be a, a really, really good sort of movement for this, you know, because driving the buses is, is probably the best part. The map isn't too bad, you know, but... Again, the, the, the roads and things, they, they do take their toll. They do take their toll. You know, you do notice things as you drive. You know, but, I mean, overall, general performance, you know, needs needs a really good tune. You know, Optimisation needs a bit, of, well, it needs to be improved a bit, but, you know, it's tourist bus, isn't it? Yeah, that's all it comes down to. But like I said, I, 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 I mean, with all this firm bus stuff and the way that they're they're hyping it up at the moment, I really wish that they would do that for this. You know, it wouldn't take two minutes just to kind of let us know where they are in terms of fixing it. You know, I think that's that's very very important. You know, but 
the fact that we haven't actually received anything as of yet, you know, and Fernbus has kind of taken the spotlight a little bit, um, you know, it kind of kind of leaves you uh, in a bit of a limbo. You know, where are we? You know, I mean, asking for information is one thing, but getting an answer is something completely different. You know, and I don't think that we're actually going to get that, but I don't know. It's a bit of a roller coaster, isn't it? How's it going, G Song? Welcome in, man. Hope you had a fantastic New Year, fantastic Christmas. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. There are a few elements within the game which I I'm not a very big fan of. Um, I think. And this, like I say, this is just my opinion, but I feel that things like the um, the apartments for the employees... Now, some people may like that, but I, I just feel that that's just a little bit of a wasted resource, to be honest. That's it, cancel yourself out. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Have I got... You are joking. Have I got to book all these people in? Is dieses Ticket hier gültig? Danke schön. Oh, oh man. Is this ticket thanks a lot? Mahlzeit. Is this ticket here gültig? Thank you. Hello there. Why is there so many? Is this ticket here gültig? Thanks a lot. Moin. Is this ticket here gültig? Thank you. Hi. Is this ticket here valid? Much appreciated. Hi. Can I board with this ticket? Thanks. Yes, you can. Muchas gracias. Podrías muchas gracias. Es este mi autobús. Gracias. Hi. Is this ticket gültig? I have a funny feeling I'm not going to have enough space on the bus. Is the ticket here valid? Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Servus. Kann ich mit diesem Ticket ein Dankeschön? Moin. It's so dark around these areas as well. Moin. Kann ich mit diesem Ticket ein Essen dank? Essen dank. Is this the autobus? Un million de gracias. Hello there. Can I board with this ticket? Thanks. Good morning. Could you please match up? I don't think the voices really match up to the way that the people look. Is this ticket? Thanks a lot. Mucho gusto. Un million de gracias. Hello. Can I board with the thanks a lot? Hi. Is this ticket here gültig? Thank you. Hola. Oh, so in other words they could they were all getting on anyway <laughs> right, wait for them to board all right let's get this show on the road shall we Twenty five out of twenty five. Well, discovering a lot of new things. But that's what I mean, you see, that it's like those little bits and pieces. I don't know about anybody else, but I'm not I'm not really too bothered about all that sort of stuff. I just like jumping on and just driving and doing the routes. You know? It's a nice idea, I suppose. It's it's cool that they've tried to implement something different. I mean you can't knock them for that. But it's just not done very well, is it? <laughs> so, G Song, um, for tourist bus, no, there's not been any sort of information um, 
as to when or what they're doing with this update, when it's going to come, all that sort of stuff. Phone Bus, on the other hand, um, has had a lot of news and it has been hyped up to high heaven uh, by Fabian and all that. Um, and I believe the release date for Phone Bus for console is the 27th of February. So, not too far away. Not too far away at all. Now, I believe, like I said, I believe that they said that um, Taurus Bus will be receiving a similar update either before or just after the release of, of Fur and Bus. But yet, yeah, nothing has really been sort of set in stone. You know, I mean, in 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 my mind, I feel that Taurus Bus has kind of almost been forgotten about due to um, Ferran Bus coming to, uh, you know, coming to console. Uh, I mean, the way that I look at it, right, is that we're either going to get two really really bad busing games just loitering around on console that don't receive updates and don't get improved upon and fixed and all that stuff, or we're going to get two really nice updated busing games that you know we can all enjoy now i know which one i would prefer and i you know everybody else would prefer having two really good busing games um, to work but i mean of course you know how they're going to implement that and how it's perceived and how it's received it's 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 going to be a completely different different story isn't it I try in the back of my mind because this, like I say, they're not very good at keeping their games up to date. They never have been, you know, and the things that they say don't usually match up with the things that they do. Um, and it doesn't really leave a lot of confidence in people when they tell them stuff about updates. And, you know, you've just got to kind of take it with a pinch of salt. Um, which is really frustrating because, I mean, at the end of the day, we want these games to do well. Uh, for those that do enjoy playing it, like myself, um, you know, we want these things to happen, positive, positive steps in the right directions and all that. But it's, you know, it's, it's happened too many times to a point of where, for me personally, I'm not giving them too much sort of slack. You know, I mean, I'm being very critical um, with them and my expectations aren't very high um, but you know we will we will definitely find out closer to the time you know I mean they're doing their PR work and they're overselling it and you know but let's let's just let's just comment on it when uh, when we actually get our hands on it because that's that's really the only way we can kind of uh, kind of uh, assess engage as to what's actually been changed They definitely need to, like I said, they, we need like a, an injection of, of DLC as well. That's got to be something which, um, you know, comes in the distant future. You know, like a, a bus pack or something, just to say sorry for how long it's taken. You know, something like that. Just like a goodwill gesture to people that have been loyal to the game, loyal to the fan base, you know, and consistently make videos on it and things like that you know we, we we need some form of I wouldn't say compensation but I guess in a way of just kind of sweetening the situation maybe that's why they're giving away um, all the DLC for fur and bus for free for console players you know maybe maybe that's the reason who knows who knows Aerosoft, the wolf is coming, the wolf is coming. <laughs> exactly, yeah. How's it going, munchies? Oh, man. But I'm very surprised, because still to this day, you know, I didn't expect my tourist bus videos to do very well. Um, 
and the fact that people are still commenting on it and asking questions, you know, it, it's really, really nice to see. It is really nice to see. You know, I mean, overall, it's been a bit of a yo-yo, isn't it? Up and down 50-50, this one. You know, but like I said, the uh, the overall... Well, the, the sort of the way that I look at it is that if, if these updates don't do what they essentially say they do on the tin, then... Um, I, I just won't cover the won't cover the games on the channel anymore and and you know there's only so much I can say and do about these games to you know and and make videos like I say for you guys um but for the like I say it's a new year it's it's trying to keep positive about things and you know if things don't go in a positive direction then you know we just move on to bigger and better things don't we I'll just cover more things on the channel like I say I've got my flight stick as well you know so I've been dabbling around with a few different um, you know flight simulators and things like that so that's that's something new coming to the channel today actually yeah yeah didn't really know what to title the video but you know it's nothing too serious it's just having a bit of fun isn't it that's all what it's all about just having a bit of fun Oh, that sun glare. Damn. Oh, nice one, Munchies. Nice one, man. Well, this is it, isn't it? This is it. feels a bit feels a bit empty that's that's the bad thing about the PC version because it's not very well optimized you know that you do get um you do get problems with it in terms of performance you know like uh just stuttering and popping in and out like i say the PC version isn't much better than the than the console version but of course the difference is enough where you don't lose your data, you know. <laughs> that's that's pretty much it. Oh, 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 oh. Taking out the signs. Whoa. You know, and that, like I say before, that is quite the, the the saddening thing. You know, like when I first started playing this game, I really, really enjoyed it. In fact, up until the point of where I was playing it pretty much every day. You know, I was spewing videos out every day. You know, but there's just only there's just only so much that you can kind of do. You know, there's only so many routes you can do before you you kind of get a little bit burnt out on it. I don't know why it sent me round this way, but I feel that was completely unnecessary. That's another thing as well. The colour of the GPS route. They really need to do something with that as well. You know, I know that... So, it, whether it be like orange, like yellow or orange on the pickup, and then some, or something like blue or, you know, whatever, blue or red on the, on the drop-off. You know, that would be ideal. Because sometimes when the, when the GPS routes kind of like overlap you don't know which direction to go in you've really got to sort of sit there and analyze it and make sure that you're actually going the right way which ain't, ain't very helpful is it when it comes to being a bus driver you kind of rely on you know a sense of direction
like I say, with this update, I hope they, they fix not only the core elements, you know, like the luggage and things not still not working for Xbox and all that, but at the same time, also making sure that wheel support is is corrected and fixed. <coughs> Excuse me, because there are a lot of uh, there are. I I mean, I get I get comments quite a lot. Like, do does this wheel work? You know, and and I try and give the, the the honest answer, but you know, I've got it's a bit of a fifty-fifty. I've got people saying that it does work, and people saying that it doesn't work. So, you know, it's it's a hard one to answer. So I do apologise for that, but you know, it's just one of those things. Like I don't want to uh, have to answer that question, you know, because it should be working. That's the point. It should be working. And and a lot of things within this game, and even Fern Bus for for PC. You know there are a lot of things which are still not quite right. Um, but we can only hope that this up this this update actually does something. Yeah, Munchie. So when you when you um, when you open the luggage bay, what's supposed to happen is the. Uh, the their their bags are just supposed to automatically go into uh into the luggage compartment um but of course on on uh you know on on the Xbox that's not happening I really want them to fix this as well like how they get off the bus you know they, they like I say the passengers need a lot of work Seeing some new, like I say, seeing some. See how two valid passengers missed. Okay, so how is that even possible? These are, these are the things. These are the things that really frustrate me because I took absolutely everybody at that bus stop, absolutely everyone, and yet it's still telling me that I'm missing passengers. So it's things like that which I really want them to sort of address. bit of a pain isn't it right let's let's fast travel back to um, let's fast travel back to the office but like I say I mean I get a lot of comments for the piece uh, for the the PS5 and Xbox versions of this and um, the literally all of the same issues which we've spoken about countless times on this channel uh, in these videos are still there but they're, they're becoming more prominent now a lot a lot more people are experiencing it compared to before you know and it's a real shame that one you know like I would absolutely love to be able to sit here and give everybody all the answers kind of be like the fly on the wall do you know what I mean and and kind of kind of just try and inform you as much as I possibly can but right let's try the comfort class oh man right so let's get rid of that and then let's put that one down there. That should be outside. Amazing. But a lot of the functionality um, is quite it's it's quite annoying because it's missing. You know, it, uh, and it, it is missing. There are a lot of things which aren't quite right that should be okay but they're not and they're just it's just getting like stupidly worse oh, don't do this to me come on GPS route where are you right, let's have a look at orders shall we so it says
it says 10 o'clock right okay so oh no I don't want to do that oh, let's do the slide bar Right, let's fast travel, or oh, should I say speed the time up to there. There we go. See, that is always confusing, you know, when because usually you expect, like, the GPS route just to be fine, you know, just to be set there. Um, usually that's the case if the times are right. But, of course, making sure that you're route times correlate with the time in the day you know you'll, you'll, you'll get your GPS route come up I th always thought that you know it was just bugging you know but that is what you have to do I still think to this day that there's an airport there. Now you think that because it's like a touristy destination, you know, holiday destination, that there would be planes coming in and out, in and out all the time, you know. And I think since I've actually played this game, I don't think I've actually seen any more than about two planes. The one, and and sadly, the one of them. Um, oh, there's one up there. Look, speak of the devil. But I mean. Um, you know the the one that at the beginning was literally like the loading you know you think there would be more I don't know let's see if we can do something about this traffic density because there isn't very many vehicles on the road I bet I've got it turned down really low well, it's on 40 it's not too bad let's turn it up to 80 See if we can get some more cars on the road. It looks less unlived in, you know. And I mean, that was one of the comparisons that I had for Bus Sim 21 and games like this and Firm Bus is the fact that even though they have their pros and cons. It, Bus Sim 21 for me feels a little bit more lived in, you know, whereas this, not so much. Not so much. You'll have to leave your thoughts down in the comments section below, guys. Let me know what it's like for you at the moment. Let me know what you're experiencing. Or let me know even if you've encountered any new um, new problems, new bugs, which weren't there before. It'd be very, very interesting to, uh, to see what, what you guys are experiencing. I do get a few people comment and, and let me know certain things like... For PlayStation, um, quite a few reports actually of the achievements not working. Um, don't know what that's all about.
But like we say, if something gets left for too long, it's going to fracture. And I, and, and even to this day, I'm, I'm still very, very surprised that the game is actually still functioning. I mean, we can drive around, don't get me wrong, you know, but like, I mean, when, when I say functioning, I mean like, uh, the GPS route's not working and the luggage not working and certain things with the AI, you know, when they crash and all that kind of stuff. Sadly, you have no longer have Taurus bus installed. Still got bus in 21 on Xbox. Yeah, that's it. That's it, munchies, you know. A lot of people have uh, have uninstalled this game. And and rightfully so. I mean, you know, it's it's been it's been a ridiculously long time. Ridiculously long time. They do need to stop um, pushing new games out or at least porting new games until you know they've kind of fixed the one that they they they've recently worked on that's something which annoys me let's get the current game right first before we decide you know we're going to port another game or make another game yeah, and and that's where my general concern kind of comes from because you know at the end of the day us consumers, us players, we aren't stupid. We see what's going on, you know, and uh, I mean, m many people will agree, many people will disagree, but it is a giant cash grab. You know, like a comment that I saw for Fernbus the other day from Fabian, and somebody asked what, what the performance would be like uh, on the Xbox Series S for Fernbus. And he said that it will differ from city to city, but yet it won't matter because it will still be enough for smooth performance. Now, if it differs from city to city, how is that smooth performance? Smooth performance would be the same frame rate through each and every city, not different frame rates in different places you know so with the with the likelihood of that happening for Fernbus for console I wouldn't imagine there's really really gonna be much changed for Taurus bus you know I think I think you know they're, they're quite good for just doing the bare minimum to be honest they don't give you any patch notes so you don't actually know what's been changed you know but Overall, I mean, I think that for Taurus Bus, and this is my just my general opinion, but I feel that Fern Bus is being ported over. They're somewhat hoping that Fern Bus will take the spotlight so that they don't have to focus on Taurus Bus as much. Those people that do want Taurus Bus to be updated are going to be disappointed because I feel the only thing that they are going to do. Is put the main sort of things which people have complained about right, make it look a bit shinier, and uh, yeah, just overall sort of clean it up a bit, you know, just the bare minimum. And I think that's, I, honestly, I think that's all that Taurus Bus is going to get. In in terms of, like I say, DLC and future stuff, I don't think there's anything coming, personally. I feel they're just going to fill in the blanks essentially, they're going to do the bare minimum and uh, even after this this update I still feel that there's going to be things wrong with it. Now, sadly I feel the same way about um, on the road as well. I know that it's a different developer but you know, Fabian and all that. We all know the story. But like I say, it's not the game's fault. It isn't the game's fault. It's just how things are, are generally um, taken. You know, how things are, 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 are sort of addressed. You know, behind the scenes sort of stuff. It's not 
it's not very good and and that's why I made a second video on this you know and I, I highly recommend you guys watching it if you haven't already um, but you know if it's worth playing in its current state you know But yeah, I can't. I don't like. I say my expectations aren't very high, so I don't. I don't expect this game to be flawless. Don't get me wrong, but at the same time, I don't expect anything revolutionary either. You know, there are so many things wrong with it. You don't even know where to start. Do you know what I mean? And that and that's the the biggest problem is you just don't know where to begin. You know, and I mean, for taking the bias out of it and stuff like that. You know, if you sort of take it from a from a different perspective, you can j definitely see uh, where the game, uh, all the areas of which the game suffers. You know, but you've got to play that. You've got to play it long enough to experience that. Now, not everybody experiences it, and that's the that's the issue. It's a bit fifty fifty, but you know, it's a gamble. You can invest a lot of time into this game just to lose it, you know. <laughs> yeah, munchies. I would repeat that, but you know. Just boils down to it, doesn't it? Yeah. Now, there, like I say, there are a lot of positive things that this game does provide. You know, I'm not knocking it completely. I just feel that it's a, in a bit of a sad state, isn't it? They need to do something. They need to do something. But how are we all today? What are we all up to? Like I say, I'm very, very excited to actually show um, Microsoft Flight Sim again back on the channel. I mean, the first time I played it, oh man, it went down in a ball of flames, literally. But, you know, uh, what could go wrong, eh? What could go wrong? How's it going, Juan? Welcome in, man. Long time no see. I'm not too bad, not too bad. Hope you're doing well yourself. Oh, fantastic stuff, Juan. Fantastic stuff. I bet you'll be twitching, waiting out the door. Yeah, the buses do look good. I give them that. And they do drive well. But I mean, when it comes down to sort of like bus physics, you know, and um, the way that... Oh, goodness me. Oh, that's it, anchor on. But I mean, for bus physics, I mean, it's not, it's not like, um, it's very arcadey, you know, for it to be like a bus sim, it is, it is an arcade approach to it, you know, you don't really feel much of anything when you're driving them. And, and it does, though, you know, come down to people's expectations, I suppose, of what they expect really from a bus simulator.
Yeah, absolutely, Juan. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I've not been too bad. Not been too bad. Took a little bit. Took took a little bit of a break away from the channel, you know, just to kind of freshen myself up and charge some batteries. You know, but other than that, I'm pretty good. You know, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with these games over the next couple of months. But of course, as well, I'm also happy to show um, showcase a few more pieces to the channel. You know, like the flight stick. So flight simulation will be quite a heavy thing in a moment here on the channel because I need to invest a lot of time into it. I need to, I need to practice more. You know, and this is what I've been doing when I've not been streaming. You know, I've been trying to dial in, perfect. You know, try and get the settings in a sweet spot so that I can provide you content without having to kind of go through. Uh, settings and things like that, you know. Can just enjoy it for what it is. Get the baby steps out of the way and actually tackle some pretty decent stuff. Yeah, I don't mind doing like little tutorial bits, but you know, for me, uh, it, it, I feel an immense amount of pressure and I can't focus properly if I'm trying to practice whilst kind of being under the spotlight at the same time, you know. You know, one of those people that I, I do fantastically when I'm I'm left alone, but when the moment that I'm being watched, that's when things go go really bad. <laughs> You know, that's when things go really bad. Oh, what was that? Let's have a read a moment. I had to get a cheaper PC until I can get upgrades into it. It comes with a GTX 1050 Ti. Nice one. And yeah, Microsoft Flight Sim. Yeah, one. No, no, no. They haven't updated it yet. Like I say, there's been no, there's been no news either for when this update is supposed to be coming. I'm just, I'm just guessing at this point based on the things that they've said, you know. But this, this game is still running and looking and performing the same way that it, it did months ago. So nothing revolutionary there yet. I am skeptical, I'm not going to lie, I am very skeptical, but we will only be able to sort of assess that when it happens. Now it's like the bus for PC, that received the Unreal Engine 5 upgrade not so long ago, even though it is still in early access. Um, the Unreal 5 upgrade, for me, I don't know if anybody else is the same, but it didn't look good at all. But, well, I mean, visually it looked nice, but it looked nice anyway. But the one thing I was focusing on more than anything was the overall performance. You know, and, and that that still hasn't been improved upon, so... I don't know, I'm a bit, I'm a bit weary about these this firm bus and this... Taurus bus update, to be honest. Yeah, Juan. I picked up quite a few games, actually. Quite a few games. A lot of simulation games, anyway. Like I say, mainly flight simulation uh, that I picked up. Um... But it also picked up a few RPGs as well. Which is cool. But of course over Christmas and New Year's Eve and all that sort of stuff. It was a busy time. So getting all that sort of rushed into that short period was just wasn't possible. 
So I thought, new year, new content, bring it to the channel, you know, and uh, amazing stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. But I have to admit, with the new flight stick, you know, and uh, and Microsoft Flight Sim, uh, it's definitely uh, a much, much better experience. A lot smoother experience, anyway. Yeah, that's it. That's it, Juan. You know, like I say, um, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not brilliant at it, but I do. I do have a, a better understanding of the controls, and I do have a better handle over the controls. And that's just simply because of the, the flight stick. It's a little bit more simplistic. You know? I say simplistic, it's just a much more of a truer way of playing it, you know? Rather than trying to remember all these buttons and everything, you can just do it off the fly, you know? It's quite fun. Welcome aboard. I think that's everyone. It's probably going to tell me like that I'm missing people, like it always does. Um, I haven't played Train Sim World Three for a little while, um, and the the reason for that was was literally just time. It was finding the time to to sit down um, and actually invest l into learning all the different trains and the controls and stuff, you know. And I just couldn't do it personally. I just couldn't retain that information with all the other games that I've got going on, at, or I had going on at the time. There was just no way that I was able to retain that information and 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 you know, retain all the information for all the other games as well you know, and it's like I want to try and make a, as good content as I can for you guys and show you good content but at the same time I don't want to keep I don't want to keep failing at things on, on stream you know, I want to get these things dialed in that's the thing for me just want to get it all dialed in so I can actually enjoy it properly without all of us kind of experiencing and sharing the frustration bit bloody shaky down here goodness another wheel got a mind of its own So I got the um, now I don't know whether it's a Saytech, Cytech, or Logitech, and I, I think that Logitech took over the company. So I'm just going to go with Logitech. But I got the uh, Logitech uh, X52 Pro. So it's not the most expensive, but it's not the cheapest. It's kind of like, I would say, medium quality. Definitely a lot of fun, not going to lie. I've just been taking advantage of using it. You know, games like War Thunder and that have been quite fun playing. DCS as well. I need to jump into that a bit more. Because that's a lot of fun. The DLCs are so expensive compared to other games like... Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm going to start today, Juan. going to start today, man. Got um, uh, a flight sim... Microsoft flight sim stream scheduled for later on. So, the first thing I am jumping into is uh, 
Microsoft Flight Sim. Get that all hooked up and running. Because what I'm going to do after this stream is is get a, a bit of practice in and get myself ready for it. Kind of set myself up with a few bits and pieces and then it should be really fun. It should be really fun. Oh, this is what I hate. Go on. Oh, man. Alright. I'll just slide on through. It's a bit tight round here. That's the only problem with having the AI traffic up too high. Is that when you're driving the bigger coaches, it's it's really difficult, especially navigating through these tight roads. Nice man, I've got to be here. Will it be? A, yeah, it will be a live broadcast. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I've got it scheduled for 6 p.m. Uh, tonight or this evening, should I say? So it's going to be it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a laugh, I think. For the most part. Like I say, I'm nowhere near a professional. And I don't claim to be, but you know, I've definitely got a better understanding and a better hold over the plane. Um do you know what, Juan? I don't actually know. I don't actually know. I will try my absolute best to do a commercial flight, but I'm not too sure what sort of cities uh, I'm going to be flying to and from. But of course, more more of that will will uh, you know come to light when I uh, when I go on it in a minute and you know test it all out, get it all sort of set up. I know what I'm going to do bit more organized and then just enjoy it for what it is my goodness look at that wheel <laughs> oh man yeah they do they do Like I say, it is what you make it, isn't it? Like, I find, I find that a lot of, a lot of the better games are the free ones. And there, there, like I say, there are many, many reasons for that. But you know, oh, but yeah, not too bad, not too bad at all. But yeah, I'll get that all dialed in. And like I say, guys, you know, if you are interested in joining the Discord channel, the link is in the description. Uh, in there, we, you know, we discuss things, we talk anything sort of sim related or game related, should I say? Keep each other informed, you know, on updates and uh, such things. Share photos, hunting, fishing, farming, you name it. Trains, trucks, planes, it's all in there. So if you are, uh, you know, if you feel like joining. You know, you are more than welcome to. Uh, got a nice little community growing in there at the minute. You know, it's a safe space. No judgement. There are a few rules, of course, but... You know, very basic and simple ones. So, you know, if there's something that you're interested in, or if you've got something to share, you know, screenshots, all that good stuff, then come on in. Say hello. Yeah, Juan. I, to be fair, I don't actually think that it was tested properly. I don't think these buses were actually tested properly for the for the roads that we we have to drive. Because they do get ridiculously ridiculously tight, especially for you know, with the all the AI traffic as well getting in the way. There's just not a lot of breathing room, is there? Not a lot of breathing room. <laughs> I 
I do admit, it is nice to come back. It is nice to drive, play it for a little bit. But I can only play it for so long before, you know, you start to notice things which remind you of why you stopped playing the game in the first place. <laughs> you know? As nice as it is to show it off on the channel, I've got far bigger and better things to kind of show off. You know, so I think in terms of Fern Bus and, and Taurus Bus, this will probably be the last, I would say, the last video. I may do another video on it at some point, depending. Um, but yeah, this will probably be the last video on these games until, you know, we start to actually receive these, these updates because there's only so much that I can do and say. Of course, enjoying the game and watching the game and playing the game is one thing, but from a sense of streaming it, uh, it's completely different. It's completely different because you do run out of things to talk about, you know, that you haven't already said thousands of times before, you know. So keep it, uh, keep it fresh, keep it positive. That's what it's all about. Yep, it's been it's been too long, Juan. It has been too long. Um, now they should they really really should have updated this game first, or at least got it to a, a point. But unfortunately, that's just not the case. <laughs> but that's what I mean. It's it's subject matter like that that we can only sort of repeat the same things so many times before it gets annoying. You know, and for me, like I say, the way that I feel about this game now is that I've had to take a, a considerably long break from it just to make this stream today because it was getting to a point of where I was so frustrated with it, with the, obviously all the negative aspects of it and things not working properly and and all that sort of stuff that it just it just become too much. everybody off. But yeah, it just become it just become far too much. You know, once this like I say, once this these games do receive their updates, and once we do get some sort of concrete information as to what's happening, you know, then I'll start to make videos again on it. But like I say for the moment you know, there's only, like I say, short bursts. Playing it in small doses seems to be okay. Anything over an hour or so and things just tend to get a little bit dry. Which I'm sure a lot of you can appreciate and understand. <laughs> it's not like I'm playing Euro Truck. Do you know what I mean? Like, I can sit there and play that game all day if I could. You know, but... Every game has its points. But in the sense of an update, you know, my my sort of um, guess to the update for this will probably be, you know, late January, late February, I would imagine. So over the next few months, I reckon we're going to get uh, something. And I don't take that as gospel, but you know, that's just that's my little hunch. That's my that's my little assumption. But of course Fabian's doing his little bit, you know, he's overselling the game, trying to get it out there as much as he can. You know, that's his job, at the end of the day.
Yeah, Juan, that is my biggest concern. It better be a good update. It has to be. The thing is, it's like the only the only time that people can kind of so they either take the information from videos like this where people warn them about such things, or they buy it and find out. But I'd much rather take them take a video like this and assess whether they want to buy it or not, rather than being in that situation of where they bought it, they don't like it, but unfortunately there's nothing that they can do about it. You know, that is the big problem. You know, so people people won't stop buying these games. You know. And of course, as long as that goes on, the more it'll continue to happen. But, you know, people like them, people don't. That's just that's is it, isn't it? You know, it's like here on the channel, you know, I try and be as unbiased as I possibly can. You know, and I do tell people how I feel, the way I feel about particular things, because I've got a right to do so. And of course, people have got the right to tell me how they feel about it. You know, but if people can't have a, a sort of an adult, grown-up conversation about such things without people's feelings getting hurt or people getting nasty then that's just a level of things which I just just don't tolerate you know but if people want to have a, 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 a genuine conversation about a game like this without getting sort of upset because somebody doesn't share the same opinion um, you know that's great that's great but on the other foot if not you know they're, they're always welcome to go and watch somebody else you know what I mean and that's all it comes down to at the end of the day I'm, I'm not forcing people to listen I'm not forcing people to watch. You do that at your own leisure. Can't get much more fairer than that. But I like I say, I do try and update people. I do try and keep people in the loop. And, you know, this is the perfect thing about the Discord. Because it's a perfect, perfect place to discuss these things. I mean, we've had some fantastic conversations about games in there. You know, that even when streams aren't being streamed about this game you know you're able to mention things without having to wait for a stream to be able to comment you know but for consoles I also blame Microsoft and Sony for allowing them to release it yeah well this is this is the this is the thing I think that they've got sort of like minimum requirements and you know minimum requirements as long as they're met, then get away with it. Yeah, no, I appreciate you coming in, Juan. Honestly, your words mean a lot. I'm just saying in general, you know. Sometimes before it gets to that point, like I say, an hour, maybe an hour and a half to two hours of streaming it is fine. But but then when you run out of things to talk about, then it becomes heavily focused on the negative elements. And then it's you just remind yourself why you stopped playing the game, why you uninstalled it. And then you just go back to doing what you were doing originally, you know. Yeah, they definitely do need to start protecting their customers a bit more. Oh.
damn. Do you know, this is a medium... This is what I don't understand. These routes are so long. Like, this is just a me... I think this is a medium route. I'm going to check the map a minute and see how many stops I've actually got to go. Oh, only two more. That's not too bad. Like these these routes can go on forever, and that is the main main problem because where where the save data corruption problem is still occurring, um, doing all these long routes and then kind of losing it all. Oh man, isn't it a kick in the teeth? I mean, I've done this so many times, you know, and and I've kind of lost the up and go to do it. So when I come on stream, I, I just literally, I mean, I've got no employees. I don't care about the money. I don't care about the houses, the furnishings. Don't care, care about any of that because I've done it all before and I've lost it several times. You know? And then once you do get to that stage, you know, you start kind of looking at the game in a way of like, well, half the stuff which the game provides either doesn't work or it's just not fun. It's not fulfilling enough. And when you do it several times and then lose your data several times, it disheartens you and you don't want to continue doing it. So, for me, I enjoy driving the buses, I enjoy doing the routes, but that's as far as it goes. Nothing else really is really important and it's a shame because it should have never been that way in the beginning but it was and that has had a, a downward spiraling effect on loads and loads of people that play it But yeah, Juan. Once you get your um, once you get your PC set up and that, you know, we'll have to do some convoys or something on Euro Truck. I want to try and get a few people in. I, I definitely do. That's something that I want to do. So, like I say, if you're in the Discord, you know, I'm gonna set something up, and we'll try and work out times and you know when people are available and stuff, and go from there. We can chat and discuss, and uh, just have a little little natter along the way. Right, let's get this show on the Rosif Joseph. Ah, <sighs> dear. Do do do. Ugh. Yeah, restoring and driving that buggy, you know, would have been nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, for sure, we'll work on setting it up today before you go live again. Nice one, Juan. Nice one, man. Gonna get myself one of those button boxes at some point too for uh, ETS and all that. Yeah, like I say, I've been doing a lot of. I mean, this 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 setup isn't final. Like what you see on the camera is not final, but I've been making a lot of my own um, shelving and things like that, and and trying to build something that. Um, facilitates everything that I've got going on because I could go out and buy desks but I don't want cables everywhere do you know so I'm just trying to fabricate um, something to cater for the stream and of course when I'm comfortable and when I've got everything in order it obviously makes the streams better you know and, and gives you guys a better viewing point essentially Yeah, track IR would be good. Yeah. The problem is, is it's just the inflation on things at the moment. You know, it's so so damn expensive. You know, and I mean, like, 
it's not like I'm not in a financial situ position to not buy head tracking. It's just that for the prices that they're set, you know, I'm not stupid enough to spend the money that they're asking for it. And I don't want some cheapy track head tracking kit that's going to break after a few months of playing with it. You know, I want something that's going to last for a couple of years or so. That I don't have to worry about um, situations like that, you know. You've got to be smart with it. But do you know what, guys? I think that's all I got time for. Like I say, I really, really appreciate you guys coming in, spending your Saturday, uh, Saturday afternoon here. We will be back later on with a bit of Microsoft Flight Sim. So if you are interested in that, come on in, say hello, and don't forget if you are interested in joining the Discord, the link is in the description below. But like I say, guys, thank you all so much. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. You all take it easy, stay safe, and hopefully I'll catch you all in the next one. Take it easy, guys.